Hey guys, welcome back. I mentioned in the last video that I reached out to people in my community offering my organizing services for free and we are doing another space in a person's home right now. When this family invited me into their home, they thought they needed to reorganize the kitchen. But taking a look around, it was really obvious to me that their kitchen was organized and all of the clutter that was ending up on their counters was because it was homeless. I see this exact situation in almost every home that I visit. Things that are accumulating in the kitchen that need a designated spot to go. In the last video, we created a command center and I'll put a link to that. But for this video, I wanted to create this family a landing zone. And this piece of furniture was the perfect spot. It's the place where they naturally lay things when they walk in the door. So it's the perfect place to create a landing zone. It has drawers and cabinets, but none of it was being utilized. And most of the things they were storing were things they never ever used. So I just used some dollar store containers to do a quick sort of this area. Once the drawers were cleaned out, I added some dollar store drawer dividers so I could make really functional spaces using this prime real estate in their home. I decided to have one for a bill paying station. This includes their wallets, it includes gift cards and checkbooks, envelopes, all those sort of things. In the other drawer, it is a spot to empty out their pockets when they walk in the door. Everything else that was left all of this homeless clutter, I dedicated homes in the cabinets below. I emptied them out and honestly, when we were talking with the homeowner, none of the stuff that was under there was ever used. So we donated and relocated it and instead created a spot for the family's light bulbs and their batteries and the things that they use often but don't have a designated home. A few dollar store labels, and that is all you need to really make this a functional space for the family. This buffet had a perfect spot for an in-out basket, so this is where they put things that don't have a home yet, or things they have to return to the store. And that way, it's not clutter on the counter. One of the biggest sources of clutter was receipts. So I created a little file folder here. It's really visual for the family and sorted it because this is a B family, meticulously to all the different types of receipts. We have spots for grocery receipts, house receipts, kids toys, Christmas receipts. There was also a ton of cord clutter in this house. So just using this really inexpensive hinged box, I'm drilling holes in the back to feed the wires through so this can become a charging station. This simple box gets the cord clutter off the counter, it gets the electronics off the kitchen counter, and it contains and organizes them in a beautiful and functional way. I added some Dollar Tree decals to the wall so I could have a little spot for hooks for their keys. Again, this is a bee family, so they need a visual spot to hang their keys, and this is the perfect spot. Just some 3M hooks, and they have a spot for when they get home to drop everything. This is such a functional yet beautiful landing spot for a busy bee family. I want you to take a look at your own home and look at the spot where you naturally pile things when you walk in the door. This is exactly the space near your home that needs to be transformed into your landing zone. In just a few hours, we transform this messy kitchen into a beautiful, clutter-free space. And the best part is it's really functional. And we did this just by creating homes for things, homes for things that were naturally being piled on the kitchen counter. We created a command center for all of the family's important papers and reminders and bills, and we created a landing zone so they can drop things off as soon as they walk in the door and a spot to charge and hold all of those things that otherwise would have just been clutter. In only a few hours, this home turned out to be a beautiful, clutter-free space, and you can do the same thing in your home. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more organizing videos each and every week. And I have a new book available for pre-order, which actually talks about all the different four organizing styles in really, that's, I mean, that's what the book's about. It's called The Clutter Connection. So I get super detailed, not only about each style, but how to work 
with somebody who is that style or live with them. So make sure you check that out. I'm going to put a link below. See you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So I live in Canada, so I wanted to tell you some facts, I guess, little things about Canada that you may or may not know. You've probably heard that Canada just legalized marijuana. We are the second country in the world to legalize marijuana like across the whole country. And here's something crazy. Nobody cares. I mean, the difference between the day before it was legal and the day after, no difference. There's no rioting. There's no nothing. There's nothing. But you know what? I remember years ago, they legalized here that women didn't have to wear clothing in public, like tops in public, because a man can cut their grass with their shirt off or, or go to the beach without a shirt. So women wanted the same rights. So in Canada, it is now legal to smoke marijuana. And it has been for years that you can be topless. And that makes Canada seem way cooler than it is because let me assure you, there are not topless people smoking pot walking around. It's, it's not like that. It's legal, but nobody's actually doing it. Another fun fact about Canada is pennies. We don't have pennies. Maybe other countries don't have pennies either. So we don't have pennies, but all of our, like our ones and our twos are coins. So it's just weird. So you literally, like when you know people empty their change out of their pocket, you could be dumping like 20 bucks because our $2, we don't have dollar or two dollars, like it's all change. So we have loonies and toonies. I don't know who made up that name. So our loonies and our toonies, are our dollars and our $2 change, which you still get treated like change, basically. So you know you have change in the bottom of a drawer or whatever, that's change in the bottom of your purse. It's uh, it could be some real cold hard cash here in Canada, except for pennies, we don't have pennies. So everything gets rounded up or down because things still cost 99 cents, but you don't actually pay 99 cents. You pay a dollar, so why is it listed as 99 cents? I just realized that. Why do they still have the prices in pennies when we don't even have a penny? Anyways, our milk also comes in bags, which people find a little bit strange. So we don't have like a carton. We have this floppy bag. It's like a little milk baby and you put it in a container and you cut a hole. Usually people cut the hole way too big and then they pour milk all over the place. And it's a thing we deal with. Nobody really knows why. It's always been that way. I thought everybody's milk came in little tiny milk baby bags, but apparently, there's like cartons and stuff. So anyways, just sharing that with you. I'm gonna end this video now because it's taken a turn for weirdness. Those are some facts about Canada. I'll see you next time.